What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? I'm the Godless Engineer, and I critically analyze apologist claims to give you the best arguments and information so that you can stand up and use your voice. Today's clip is from The Line, and I'm with Forrest Valcott. Today's call is from a person named Howard, and he is going to make, be making the argument that the Genesis 1 through 7 makes far more sense than the Big Bang Theory. Ultimately, he seems to not understand what the Big Bang is, and he even ends up denying gravity. He doesn't seem to be able to tell us where his magical wizard of a god fits into the natural order of reality. He also kind of spouts off some flat earth shit here. So if you want to fuck around and find out how crazy fucking Howard is, then please stay tuned. Let's start strong uh, with Howard, no pronouns given calling in from Spain, who is a theist who says the creation story of Genesis 1, 1 through 7, specifically that one, we're going to talk about why, is more rational than the Big Bang. Let's talk to Howard. Howard, you're on the line with Forrest and John. How are you doing today? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I'd, like to, to, um, I'd like to say that, well, with common sense, the Big Bang theory, it's... Um, it's our experience and common sense that explosions destroy, they don't create. So I'm looking at the Genesis um, creation story, especially Genesis 1 verses 1 to 7, because I can yeah. see three experiments and I can see four observations that support uh, that worldview and that cosmology. So, okay, right away, can, can, we, can we acknowledge... I have some major problems. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I... I think you and I are about to say the same thing. Why don't you start? I'll take some notes because I've got three major issues with what Howard has already said before we even get into the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we acknowledge that it wasn't like an explosion? Like that's how it was initially described, but it's not an explosion. It's a near instantaneous inflation of the universe, which is different from an explosion. So like, I feel like you're already coming at this from a very ignorant sort of position, uh, at least ignorant on what the actual Big Bang hypothesis is, like what, what Big I, Bang Theory actually says. Um, it seems like you just question. don't know. Can I just ask a clarifying question about that? Isn't the big expansion mm -hmm. due, due to a lot of heat? Or it wasn't the, like a no. minuscule point that expanded was due, it due to, to um, heat something? Yeah, it, it involved heat, but it wasn't due to heat, no. So this, that's what John is pointing out here, is that the Big Bang is a silly little moniker that has been given to this event. A lot of people, myself included, don't even like the name because it's, it's very popularized and has caused a lot of confusion. But the Big Bang wasn't literally a bang. It wasn't literally an explosion. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, a, a hot expansion. But let's be honest, you haven't got a working model. You've only, nothing physical. You've only got theoretical and mathematical. Um, so that's, fairy that's tales. also not true. That's also not oh, true. Okay. And furthermore, you me. said that you said that that explosions destroy, they don't create. You realize that is also that that also doesn't make any sense when we're talking about something happening, not only in space, but it is the expansion of space itself. Like, you understand that if something were to, let's say there was this explosion, it blows particles all over the place, just super dumbed down, inaccurate for a, a, a idea of what the Big Bang was. But just for the sake of argument, we've now got yeah. empty space with stuff floating all over the place. Because gravity exists, that is still going to lead to the creation of stuff like stars and planets and stuff. So, but it, oh, it's aftermath of an explosion. That's also, that's also sorry, sorry, theoretical. For, Forrest, uh, I, I believe this guy does not believe in gravity. Exactly. Oh, well, it's fuck. not that I don't believe. I'm just, I'm just open to gravity being something different or, or maybe not even being necessary. I'm not really uh, sure or here to debate that. Howard, no, you're I, a I, ridiculous I would, I would like... fucking person. Sorry? You're a ridiculous it's, it's... fucking person. Well, I don't see any in need for insults. I I'd just like to go over the three experiments and the four observations and see what you think about them and how they relate Why? to when, Genesis. When you can't, I, I, Howard, I need you to understand. Like, I understand that you want to make some content out of this because that's what you do. Is no, you no, I, I honestly, like I, 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 I,
I understand that's what the goal is, but you have to understand right. that when you call in and want to walk us through your new, new theoretical framework, and you cannot even not only dismiss effectively, but even like define and articulate what the standing scientific framework is. You don't even know what the science says. You think it's a literal explosion. Do you understand why we have no reason to then continue on with this call and to listen to your explanation from Genesis and all this stuff? If you're saying no, I, I they agree can debunk all of science, a hot expansion. I agree with that. That's fine. I, I misspoke. I just want to talk about how sonoluminescent star in a jar, acoustic levitation, and cymatic three I, different I experiments don't, I that don't, are reproducible that go with I let there be light. Hair. Because we also oh. have, re so even if I agreed either. with what you were saying, even if I agreed what you were saying, which I super don't, we have repeatable, testable experiments that demonstrate the validity of the Big Bang model. So, like, you you've them? called in saying that we, you've called in saying that we don't have anything. We have no actual so understanding of this stuff. And then you said so that it's a literal explosion, and that explosions only destroy things, not create things. And you've just demonstrated again and again and again that you have memorized some creationist talking points about science and then come up with your own creationist talking points about what only specifically this one part of Genesis says, because Genesis chapter two says something completely fucking different. Like, it's just not worth anybody's time, dude. Well, see, the thing is, I'm not a Christian. I'm just talking about that part of the Bible, which I see evidence uh, okay, for. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let, me, let me stop you right evidence. here. Real, let, let me ask the real question, Howard. Let just me ask like the real the question. The Quran has a similar creation it's, story. It, hold on, on John. Howard, on. okay, fuck it, I'm you. Listen, what we need to know, right, we have this natural explanation that is the Big Bang hypothesis, the Big Bang theory. Right. It explains things. And we have other explanations for, you know, prior to uh, the inflation of the universe. We have natural explanations for these things that seem to be the most likely conclusions, considering how we've dealt with these God claims in the past. What we need to know from you is where does a magical fucking wizard come into this? Because that's what you're proposing. OK, you're proposing that. Uh, the universe needed a magical wizard in order for it to form. Point out exactly what uh, through these experiments or whatever you're fucking trying to point out here, which I, I will note that the experiments that, you, that you're going to propose are not going to be applicable now because uh, what we've uh, been able to determine is that the natural laws of reality and all that kind of stuff start to break down, like the natural laws of physics, I'll say, uh, start to break down the closer that you get to the inflation of the universe. And um, we also notice the same thing as we get closer closer to the event horizon of like uh, uh, black holes and, and things of that nature. So like you can't use an experiment now for how shit works now to test how things would have worked prior to the inflation of the universe. But I, I'm going to allow you to come back and tell us where a magical wizard casting an incantation, which is Genesis one, one through seven, fits in to our understanding of the cosmos and of the inflation of the universe. So please tell me where that ha what is necessary for that, what explains that, what is your evidence to support that? Please tell me as I bring you off mute. With You're pleasure. Thank you very much. Um, so the idea of the solo luminescence experiment called Star in a Jar is that oh my I God. You just, you're just jumping coming, back to your script. No, no, no. You're I'm just getting back to John's script. Script. Oh, my God. Have you written this no, down on Notepad or something and you're God just is. running through it? I'm, I'm asking you. I'm trying to tell you where God is. He's literally outside the waters above, which is what the sonoluminescence the star in a jar experiment shows. When you, sh can, when you get yeah, frequency yeah, no, can you sound, of course, I don't know if you know this, but Flat Earth proponents. Hold on. Hold on, Howard. Howard, 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 Howard. Out. Listen, flat, Earth, out. flat Earth proponents think that there's waters above us and Earth. waters below us and all Earth, this other kind of stuff. I don't know how much Flat Earth bro. you've dealt with. I'm not a Flat yeah. Earther, bro. So what shape is the Earth, over. Howard? What shape I'm is the Earth? I'm not sure. It could be dynamic. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, I'm not so, here to so, argue yeah. something I don't know. 
Honestly, Howard, can you I'm do me one you, favor? Not, can you do me a favor? Howard, can you do me a favor? Can you, can you please, Howard, can you please define the word theory for me? What's the word theory mean? A scientific theory, or are you talking about uh, how the colloquial yes, uses? Yes, si scientific use. What does the word theory mean? Something that's been um, approved, peer-reviewed, tested. Um, it's something that, to the best of our knowledge, not a theorem, but it's a theory. It's the best theory to date. Like the Big Bang right. theory, the, should, the it should best be of able our knowledge. to be the best of our knowledge, which is backed by what? What are all theories necessarily backed by? Like I said, we, we try to experiment. We make observations. We peer the review. We evidence. compare evidence. We compare the uh, evidence. other people's yes. conclusions. The the yes. Theories are, by definition, backed by all the best evidence we have and also can make testable predictions and also are yeah. rooted in experimentation. Theories have been experimented on, tested, argued, like these are what theories are and what they do. So when we're talking about the yeah, Big Bang Theory. So we're I talking about the Big Bang Theory. So far. What's the problem? Right. When we're talking about the Big Bang Theory, if you cannot yeah, tell me even the basics of what it says or what we know about it or how we know what we know about it, then I don't really think it's necessary for me to sit here and suffer through your explanations of these other major ideas that happen to correlate with an Iron Age sex manual. It just isn't worth my time. Well, if I may just it's quickly not, interject. It's not John was talking about natural... John was asking for natural... Um, well, how did you phrase it, John? You said something about natural, practical experiments or something, natural evidence, yeah? Natural explanations. No, 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 I'm just, trying no to I was just natural... mentioning how you, you, claimed, you claimed to have ex experiments to run now and, in order to explain things that happened prior to the Big Bang. No, not prior to the Big Bang. I don't believe in the Big Bang, bro. This is what I'm saying. You, you, you've got to just snap out well, your worldview and let me speak you. for a second. No, fuck no, what... you, Howard. Oh, okay. Where did the universe again, come bro. from? Get triggered because you're, you're, you're Where did the universe come from? Where did the universe I, come from, Howard? I'm trying to explain that from sound Where? coming through a bubble in water, it creates light. So I believe. Where that, did the so universe like the Bible come from? And the Quran says, and the Egyptians showed we're underwater. That's why there's. Where did the blue. universe That's, come from? What universe are you talking about? I'm the talking about the biblical cosmology. I'm talking the about universe that you currently live in, the earth that you are sitting in in this moment, where did it come from, Howard? Let, from the let there be light. So right. The Shit that you don't know anything about. Jar. It's weird that you chose to call oh, okay. in on a show hosted okay. by a biologist and an engineer and not any of the many shows where we have physicists on that can tell you about how sound doesn't create light, doesn't create planets, Howard. Oh, okay, this is shit okay, you don't so know anything about, and you just have decided that these random passages that you particularly enjoy in a book all about how to cook meat and own slaves and shit, like, that's that's the book that you've chosen, this one little set of passages that you can now say lines up with creation, but you, as a skeptic don't know what shape the planet is, despite obvious experimentation that you could be running, even on your own. Don't know what happened, where the universe came from, despite stuff that you could be looking up, real actual data that real actual scientists have actually gathered, and you could be testing it for yourself. You as a skeptic aren't taking into account the actual data in front of you. You just think the word skeptic means you disagree with stuff. And the more important and big the stuff you disagree with, the more skeptical you are. That's not how skepticism works, Howard. I hope you got some good clips out of this uh, because yeah, I'm fucking bored of it. It went from a like silly to obnoxious, and now it's all the way over to boring. Um, hopefully, someday you can make some content of your own instead of just stealing from us. Uh, I'm gonna move on. John, are you good? Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Howard. Just. I just. I really so can't late. stand. No, well, well, and, and like he really wasn't even understanding like what I was saying because like any of the experiments that um that that he could run would run in how our universe operates now, which we've been able to show is different. The closer you get to the moment of inflation, so like 
He just literally wasn't understanding like what we were saying about how wrong his experiments were. And I say that with mm-hmm. heavy emphasis there, experiments. Yeah, it's 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 just and to sit here and say all you have is math, theoretical physics, and that's all fairy tales. And then you're going to follow that up with, no, you don't understand. If if God speaks into a bubble, you get a planet. Oh, I'm sorry. My fairy tales didn't hold up to that. Just absolute. Like what, what bothers me the most about it is just the arrogance, the sheer pig headed mm-hmm. arrogance to sit here and be like, no, 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 you don't understand. I read this, I read seven pay, uh, like paragraphs, or not even paragraphs, seven lines. I read seven lines of a book about how to own slaves and have sex right. And now I understand stuff that fucking Brian Cox and Neil Tyson don't. You know what I mean? I get it now. Just, ugh. Get over yourself, dude. <laughs> Well, heathens, I told you that it was a crazy fucking call and Howard is a crazy fucking conspiracy theorist. What do you think about any of the topics that were discussed in this video? Do you think that sound can create light? Howard seems to think that this proves God, but I don't see how it does. And despite having no understanding of physics, Howard seems to think that Genesis 1, 1 through 7 explains the universe better than the Big Bang Theory. Let me know what you think about these topics down below in the comments. And while you're down there, why don't you smash that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice. Bye, heathens.